Hi, Ben here with the Cyber Omelet, uh, and I'm here with another build guide where I'm going to be revisiting the Smart Mirror build, which uses an IKEA frame and reflective film. Uh, that's pretty easy to do without a wood shop like this. But uh, now that I'm a part of Steam Labs, a makerspace, and I've got some access to tools, uh, I'm going to revisit this project and try building my own frame and using an actual piece of two-way mirror glass. To build the frame, what I'm going to do is take this piece of oak, uh, and I'm going to use a router to cut an inset along the edge of this, which is where the mirror glass will sit inside the frame. Uh, and then I'm going to cut some 45 degree angles to size. I'm going to glue those corners, then we will put the mirror inside, and we'll put a support bar across the back, which will mount to the monitor, which is already hanging on my wall. Let's give it a try. successfully used the router to cut what is called a rabbit into that piece of wood. Now I'm going to cut it down into lengths so that it can actually make the exterior of the mirror. So I'm here in a different wood shop uh, because you may recall me mentioning that I'm not very good at woodworking. My plan for this frame didn't exactly work when it came time to go home and mount the monitor. Fortunately, I'm home for Easter and my parents, they live about four hours away, but they've got a wood shop in their place as well. So I've been taking advantage of my dad's table saw here. The problem was running a bar across the top and attaching the monitor to that ended up pushing up over the edge of the frame then the way I joined the corners no longer held together. Plus the glue didn't hold very well. So I did a second pass of glue, this time using uh, a, a ratchet and webbing around the corners. And it's held much better now. What I've done here is added a 45 degree cut two by two. Uh, and I've drilled holes in this way to attach the frame and this way, which will now bind to the monitor. Uh, so the monitor is gonna drop right in there and the glass will be sandwiched between it all. Actually, I'm way happier with this design and it's pretty easy to set up and I think it's gonna hold onto the monitor well. Uh, the last thing to do before we could put everything in is just to do a light hand sanding. Uh, and then I'm gonna use this teak furniture oil uh, and just rub a coating on the frame.
so here we are with the final product hanging up on the wall. And I've gotta say, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It turns out building a frame is actually pretty hard to do. So I had a bit of learning on the go here, but I'm happy to say I think it turned out actually really good. The teak on the oak has given it a really nice red hue, and I think the glass actually looks fantastic. So this was sent to me as a sample piece to try, uh, and I can definitely say that this product works as you'd hope, as I'm sure many of the others do as well. But uh, I'm happy to have had a chance to give this a try. So in a coming video, I'm actually gonna compare the mirrored window film and the glass version of the two-way mirror for a smart mirror built. Um, the film is cheaper and a lot easier to do, uh, but the glass does give you some nice sharpness uh, and building your own frame is kind of a fun project as well. So uh, tune in for that uh, and thank you very much for watching.